Hi, my name is Wilma Januszewski. I'm a biologist and I help people to identify pests in their homes. In particular, I work with several pest control services and online stores so that specialize on pest control remedies. And their customers sent me photos and videos of their 6 legs or 8 legs or even 14 legs pests before buying insecticides or ordering an insect extermination. And then I find out and explain who they are lucky to share their home with. Uh, sometimes I have to make a little study to identify such uh, synanthropic organisms. And as you already understood, I have collected quite a lot of photos and videos from real apartments with real household arthropods. And I think if I show these photos and videos on my channel and tell you what it is pictured on these media files, it helps you to identify your undesirable roommates or kitchen mates or even basement mates uh, by yourself. Here, for example, among the latest videos uh, are the most fantastic shots that one viewer sent me in order to find out who bites the whole family in the apartment. This is a tropical red mite, a parasite of a brown red, mice, less often of a black red, but in general a parasite of rodents. But very often when these mites loot their main hosts, they look for other victims, migrate in search of new hosts, enter apartments and bite people and pet there. When author of these videos asked me to identify these invertebrate guys, he wrote me in a mail. We are constantly bitten by small beasts of some reddish brown color up to one millimeter in size. I wasn't even too lazy to take a microscope and do a little study because I did not find similar pictures on the internet. All individuals are very small, about the size of a grain of sand, so it is very difficult to see them. They move slowly, bite all over the body except the head, mainly in the legs, arms and belly. We found one by one of them under the clothes and in the bed. Well, from the videos and photos we can see that these are exactly mites. Firstly, they have a recognizable shape of the front part of the body with cadicera, in other words, the jaws, typical for all the mites. Secondly, they have eight legs. Eight legs, in fact, is a very reliable sign for identifying any mites and ticks that transmit Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain spotted fever and tick-borne encephalitis. Among terrestrial arthropods, only arachnids have eight legs, and this class includes spiders, scorpions and mites. Unlike them, all insects that bite people have six legs. And if you can somehow, including with a microscope, count the number of legs in a blood-sucking parasite, you can at least distinguish mites from insects. So, these are mites, but the question was which ones? Small size, less than a millimeter, and light brown coloration can appear on two widespread synanthropic species, tropical red mite, Ornithonisus bakoti, and chicken, or red mite, Dermanisus galinae. Even from such a macro video, it is not possible to directly distinguish these species, but it can be done if you know in which premises these mites are found. The fact is that red mites invade living apartments from basements, while chicken mites from poultry houses or from attics overcrowded by pigeons, uh, swifts and sparrows. Accordingly, on the first floors closer to the basements, people are usually suffer from red mites, and on the last closer to the attics from the chicken mites. To clarify this, I asked author to describe his house. He wrote that the local municipal pest control service officer told me that by description it is most likely a tropical red mite. A month ago my family and I moved to an apartment in the first floor of a brick nine-story house built around the 80s. And the service officer added that it was necessary to take actions in the basements, dirtization, removal of dead rodents, uh, disinfection, and after to provide extermination of parasites in the apartment. So it became quite clear that these are tropical red mites, Ornithonisus bakoti in Latin. Uh, these are very common house parasites. Even before that, throughout the fall of 2021, we received a lot of emails with photos and videos of such mites literally from all over Eurasia, from different apartments and houses. But in videos from other viewers, the parasites were filmed from a greater distance and it was difficult to reliably identify their pages. That is, 
These guys are found in most cities of the world and millions of people suffer from them. In addition, handbooks report that the tropical red mite are common in all countries of the world. It parasitizes mainly on the brown red, less often on mice, black rats, cats and humans, all the rodents are the main and priority hosts for it, while predatory mammals and humans are bitten by these mites only in the absence of rodents. On rats and mice, these arachnids come to new houses, settle in rats' nests, and when the rats suddenly die out, or simply do not return to the nest, mites have to leave the rats' nest and look for other hosts. In such searches, they can climb the walls, penetrate into apartments above the basements. Thanks to their small size, they can crawl through gaps in windows and doors, and here bite the people and pets. Their bites are very painful. Cause dermatitis in most people and such a disease even has a special name in dermatology – red mite dermatitis. Its manifestations depend on the individual sensitivity of the bitten person, but as a rule, redness, small blisters and severe itching appear at the site of the bite. This itching can persist for several days after the bite. And the most insidious thing about these mites is that they are very small so small that people with low vision can see them at all. The body length of an adult tropical red mite is from 0.8 mm to a mm. The larva and nymphs are about a third of a mm in size, but they look similar to adults, and protonymphs bite both people and domestic animals. Therefore, it may seem even to sharp-sighted people that someone invisible is biting them. If such a parasite sits on clothes, it is very difficult to find it. Hardly anyone will find a mite about millimeter long on a seam on a fabric. The author of the video, by the way, writes I did not even know that such small mites exist. It is difficult to understand with the naked eye what it is, but under a microscope I at least realized that in form it is not a bed bug, not a loose and not a flea, which are mentioned in most articles about domestic parasites. The most offensive thing is that they are almost invisible, and the children and I were beaten up and down. At least now I know what happens. At the same time, the red mites cause only dermatitis. To date, there is no data on transmission of disease, dangerous to humans, by these mites. In laboratories, these mites have been successfully infected with rickettsia, the causative agent of tularemia, murine typhus, plaque and cough fever, but real cases of infection with these diseases from tropical red mites are not known. Nevertheless, red mite dermatitis alone makes these mites of great medical importance. In apartments and houses, the red mites hide in the cracks of the walls in furniture, uh, behind heaters, near the cooling elements of household appliances, and in village houses, uh, near stoves. They full development cycle in comfortable conditions at a temperature of plus 20 to plus 30 degrees and constant access to food uh, lasts approximately 2 weeks. An egg takes 35 to 41 hours to hatch into a larva. The larva develops for 1 to 2 days after attaching to the host. Then it moves to the protonymph, the protonymph develops for about 5 days, moves to the datonymph, and the datonymph develops for a day. After moving into an adult, the mite sucks up the host's blood, mates, and the females start laying eggs in about a day and a half. Thereby, if the mite does not starve, then the full cycle from egg to egg lasts 13 to 14 days in total. This cycle is maximally adapted to go on in the uh, nests of rats and mice, where infestation can reach catastrophic proportions. Whilst when feeding on humans, cats or dogs, rat mice develop and breed more slowly than on rats and sometimes at halters without rodents, the breeding cycle can be uh, completely interrupted. Therefore, in an apartment, it is enough to exterminate them once, then eliminate their breeding centers in adjacent premises, in the basement at first, and after that, in general, it will be possible to sleep calmly. The best red mite killers are the acaricides, primarily based on organophosphor compounds or pyrethroids. 
Red mites actively bite decorative reds, mice and hamsters. In fact, their cages and nests. And after treating the apartment, all these cages must be treated as well. And then washed so that to remove acaricides from them. And pets, including cats and dogs, must be treated with selamectin-based remedies. In basements and attics, as a red and mites incubators, very important to kill all rodents, get rid of their nests and clean and disinfect the premise itself. In the apartment, all cracks and holes in the walls and floors, foci of mice infestation, should be sealed and for walls and ceiling decoration is critically important to use materials that do not create gaps and cavities because mites usually hide exactly under drywall, in parquet crevices, behind torn off wallpapers and so on. If all these hiding places are removed, as well as all the mites and all the rodents in the adjacent premises are exterminated, there will be no more mites in the apartment. And in general, it is great that at least sometimes I get such high quality videos from clients and subscribers. Just in such a macro shot, it is possible to identify not only class or order to which this species belongs, but even a family, sometimes a genus and even a species. And if you know the species of blood sucking parasites in your home, it will be much easier for you to choose a right way to exterminate them. And as you probably already understood, Sometimes from the video sent me, it's not even possible to be sure that we saw exactly the mites on it. We see some moving points on the screen, but neither the shape of their body nor even the number of legs and features of morphology can be defined. Therefore, if you find some arthropods at home and cannot understand who it is and what to do with this someone, so try to photograph and videotape them as close and clear as possible and if possible shoot them in macro mode from a minimum distance. And then send me such photos and videos to my mail. I will try to determine your roommates so that you know how to get rid of them. Please.